Right, here we go. Another job. I've got them on for you guys. I know you like them. Yeah, I'll pull them up throughout the day for you. Bit of amusement. So here we go. As you can see, got two armoureds here. Been buried underneath. They come up. They do a bit of snaking around. Come to this box. Um, I need to suss out what's going on. Apparently there's a lightning feed and a power feed. Um, running around. I'll just show you the goodness. Yeah, into the light. So I've got to sort all this out. Wire the lights, sort the power out. Needs to go more up one. So we've got to move them up for the client. That's a socket back entry. Move that up, move that up. I've got to put a outside socket here. Wire and move that light up. Oops, and then inside. I've got to add a power socket here somewhere with a fuse um, spur because we've got to add a light inside here. So I'm going to probably take it external to save messing up this. Take it external, put a box with a light switch here, bring a cable up and then bring it round, round to a pendant. OK, and then we've got to add another double socket over here. But I need to suss out what's going on first. We're going to look in that box outside. Oh, I've undone the four screws, not looked in it yet. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got a bit of sussing out to do, I expect. <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. All right, so after looking at this and how it's installed, we're going to strip it all out, fit a new box here, and we're going to work away from there. As I can tell, one cable comes all the way up and does the lighting. I think she said it's switched from the house. So it's quite a long run, so we'll have to do some checks on the cables. Um, so new boxes here. Gland, whatever that is, it's either high tough NYY or armoured, I'm not sure yet. And then rewire sockets and then end up around the corner for our new. So we've got a radio up here. I think it's 13 amp um, fused down the other end. I'll go and have a look in a minute. Um, we'll try and suss it out a bit more. But yeah, I'm just going to rewire the lot. So I've, I've, I've made safe that, I've disconnected one of the legs and it is just armoured cut, I thought it was uh, NYY but it's not, it's, it's SWA, but um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it to be honest, I could just keep that bit in, um, yeah, that's what I might do actually, keep this bit in, obviously tidy it up, re-gland it into my box but it's 2.5 so yeah it's perfectly fine, I'll make sure it tests out alright and it comes out over there, look, that bit, so yeah that's alright, I'll keep that bit in. Um, that bit, probably just reclip it and, and put it up to the box here. Right, I've changed my mind again. Has this thing evolved? You see that cable's quite long. What I'm going to do is strip that cable out that goes to that one. Rather than having a joint box on here, um, we don't need it. I'm going to take that cable there, gland it into a box over there, feed that socket. I'm going to take an armour down underneath the cabin there. It's going to run round to the new, kind of come out here to the new double socket, back down and around and feed the sockets inside. That keeps it as a true radial, rather than having multiple points coming from one source. And then the light in's pretty simple. That big cable there is gonna run along the bottom up to a box, and then it's all gonna run high level to each box for the lights. So just followed some armors back and found this. Nothing's, no armors are glanded, so it's pointless me glanding them. So I'll just have to do the same, tape them up. And we're just sort of using it as high tough flex, not gonna be using the sort of SWA. If it's in high impact area like this, I suggest it is you do use it, but the way I'm using it sort of clipped up high, it, it doesn't make no difference to be fair. Better than twin and earth on the outside that's um, not, not good for UV and water, so. A little bit of progress, small update. So the, the armoured cable that comes from the um, spur down at the house runs now along, rather than coming up to that horrible joint, it carries on, goes along and jumps up into that first socket there, okay? I'll then run another one out from there down under the shed to the external socket and then back in to those sockets there. And now this lighting cable is going to be cleated the same along the bottom. 
it's going to run along to this first light to there. Right, what I'm doing now is whipping all the old light fittings down, putting them up to the new height. I've got a little note here that needs to go here. Make sure you just get that up the right way, keep the grommet in. I'm going to flex out, then it'll go to a little whisker box um, up in that corner there. One of these little ones. First saw these on Mr. Witchard's channel. So this is going to go somewhere, wherever. Nice and conspicuous place, and that'll just clip round and jump up into there. And then go on to the next one. Beautiful day, eh? So I'm just flexing at these lights. There's the pre drill manufacturer's hole, hence the up so the water can get out. And then I'm going to leave these like these, connect this into my circuit, and then do all my testing um, without putting the light out because it gives me a place to test to here. Look. Well, I'm not sure where we've got to, but armors are now tidied up, comes in and out there, and underneath there to the socket. And here's the lighting cable, it's going to run up. And then I love these little whiskers because they already come pre threaded. All you do is cut out whichever one you want pre-threaded there so that's just going to go on there because that armoured isn't doing anything and then the flex will go in and I have to carry another armoured along around to the other lights. So I've pushed my armoured cable all the way under the shed cabin and if you can see that there and then hide him along here it's not going to get impacted at all down there so I'm going to come up into the socket and I, on, again I'm not glanding in because this armoured isn't earthed anywhere in this whole system so that would at least take me sort of two days to sort all that out so again we're just going to be using this SW as, as sort of a, a high tough cable because we don't need it for impact this isn't buried anywhere it's all cleated up so I've got the biggest 20 mil um, glands you can find stuffing glands um, and this cable will just come in um, and, and also almost be like a high tough cable okay I'll show you as I go I'm just going to put the four screws in get it level there and then I've drilled out the two drain holes The client lost the grommet, so I've got to find another one. Thought you'd notice that. Yeah, you see what I'm doing. Little whiskers along, da 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 da, cleated along to the next one and then carry on. Little tip on these whisker boxes. See they have like a seal where you haven't punctured it out yet. See some blokes, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not name dropping anyone, I've not watched anyone on YouTube or anything, I've just seen other people and I've been working with them smash these out with a um, like a hammer or or a standing blade, you don't need to. So just put your grips on there, start tightening them up and then all of a sudden you'll see the seal just break out the back there. Tighten. There you go. Absolutely boiling. It's 28 degrees today. I'm not moaning because it makes a change. I'm normally doing this stuff in the um, pouring rain. So <laughs> getting there up to this one now. Got to run another cable round the corner to the last light. Um, I'm one stuffing gland short, so I'm gonna have to find one in the van, black one. And then I can move on inside and finish finish up. So yeah, it's going all right to be fair. Probably got another three or four hours, so it's half 12 now. So it's gonna be about five o'clock finish, I think. Oh well. With stranded cables like this flex, see here, going from the light. Still got to put a grommet on that. Don't let me forget, yeah? Um, stranded cables don't push into these push-in um, wagos. The harder cables and the solids are okay. So a little tip, just put a, um, just put a ferrule on it, yeah. Oops, like so, and then you'll have no trouble. That's now completely solid. You'll have no trouble getting that um, into that Vargo, Wago, ideal connector, whatever. Don't know if the camera picked that up, but um, I, had a, I had a sort of a strand hanging out the back of there, but look, I've pulled him off. Um, lucky I hadn't crimped it, so I've, I've remade that off. So now they can just go into there, and then I'll flag these ones up, because these come from the house in the box, little lid goes on, 
Uh, you spend a bit more on these boxes, but to be fair, they are they are quality. Two, three, four. There we go. That's that one done. So I'll leave the lights off because I'll do some testing first. So I went to the van. Couldn't find a gland, so look, I've used a red one. <laughs> With an SWA boot on it. Looks alright, doesn't it? Loops up into the light. Put the cover on that one now. I'm not sure I'm not sure if I showed you this, but this is the new outside socket. Cable comes from where it came in. Inside does that new spur and double socket. I'll probably put a picture up here if I take one. Does that, comes back out, comes along here, comes to this socket, jumps back in there to the final sockets. Um, so as again, um, we're going to use the grey as the neutral and the black as the earth. All right. And unfortunately, I haven't got this right size sleeve in, so I'm just going to tape them up. I'll show it you when I've done it. There we go, one socket done. Quite neat, isn't it? If you come to find it like this, you think, yeah, he's made a bit of an effort, so that's why you've got to leave it neat and tidy for the next bloke, I suppose. Forgot to tell you, actually, I've had a new apprentice helping me today. He's quite shy, though. See if he's here. There he is. Hello. Come on, then. Here we go. <laughs> Visible. Right, the lighting's finally done. Do a little walk around with the light in so he comes along. Another box there with the light flexed up. Comes along, took two flexes out of this one because he was so close, so he goes to that one. And then cable runs along the top. Runs to the last light. So that's that lighting all done. Um, I've not finished in here yet. I've not even started to be fair. Started to put some boxes on the wall up. I'll sort that out. <laughs> it's a flicker. They're not flickering. It's because they're LEDs. They're all right, they? Right, that's me done for today. Um, I'm boiling. I'm sweating. I'm hot. It's about half three. I think. I don't know. I'm going to go home. And then I'm going to come back Friday. But I'll probably do two separate videos. Um, it's a bit more watching. And it's two videos at the end of the day. Rather than a 20 minute one, a couple of 10 minute ones, better than, um, better than one long boring thing. So I shall see you on the next one. Take care.